most women become very productive business wise when they're in their menopause age. They think straight like a man. They stop being very emotional. They don't cry just like this. They think straight. Menopause is, in my own language, a time when God calls a woman and tells you stop giving others and give yourself. Yes. Good. Women who have very who have high test. How do you know when you have high testosterone, even the sex style that you have? If you're always wanting to ride, the riding has no problem. If you want to be the on top, to be the one commanding, you are the man. You have to be the man. <laughs> when you find that you always want to domineer a woman, it's psychologically telling you, like all the sex styles you want is, <clears throat> I want to prove to, to prove to be the man. You are not proving sex. That is not where to prove that you are a man. You prove by, that you are a man by what? Three Ps. Protect, provide, and procreate. I was like, God. So you called me to go and tell people to go for screening. Then they are not finding this solution. So what do I do? I turned like this lane. I saw a hospital I had never seen. Family health options. They had just been funded to do exactly what I wanted to do. They have the funding. I don't have the funding, but I have the women. So they don't know where to start. Boom. 2014, 50,000 women were screened in Kenya. A uh, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Restoration Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugi. Auntie Wamorio is in the house. <laughs> you guys, if you don't know what Morio means in Gikuyu, <laughs> any auntie of sweetness, of good feelings is in the house and she comes highly, highly requested for and I love that you guys really wanted to hear from her and I've known her for a minute right now and also for me it's really good to have, get to see her again and see the progress she's making even in her life and she'll be talking to us about a couple of so many things you know when we talk about menopause, when we talk about low libido, when we talk about dry vaginas, when we talk about how we are able to get sufficient sleep. Huh? She'll be talking to us about that. And I love that you guys are really enjoying these topics because I said one of the things we are going to be doing in 2024, not only are we going to rebuild our love lives, we are going to rebuild our sex lives, our mindset, our finances, all through, you know, it gotta be 360 what we get to do here on the show. And I'm about to let her introduce herself. But before I do that, huh, of course, you know, I have to say thank you so much for our partner partners at TapTap Tap for coming through. The people in diaspora, thank you so much for using that app to send money to your loved ones here back at home. And I say it's very fast, it's very sufficient, very flexible, and also they have very great rates. So if you're looking into sending money to your loved ones back at home, why don't you try and use a tap tapper? You can be able to download it on the apps that are pinned on the comment section. And also by using my promo code LEAN, you are able to get 10% cashback of your first transaction. And thank you also for your continued support. Are we looking at 1 million subscribers? Are you watching this and you've not subscribed? Please subscribe. It goes a long way. It's very free. It goes a long way into making sure that our content gets to reach as many people as possible. And of course, the incredible team that gets to put this work together, Skola and Muga Santenisana and the entire management at LNN. We appreciate you. And now, without further ado, please allow me to let my namesake, this beautiful woman, introduce herself. <laughs> 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 How are you? I did not expect that you'd call me Auntie of Tam and Auntie of Morio. Tam 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 Tam. I honestly love that name. You love I it. Honestly love oh, it. I'm did. good. Thank you. For what so does it mean for the people who do not I'm understand it? Auntie of sweetness. So um, I have been teaching about sexual and reproductive health in my mother tongue in Kikuyu, and our viewers decided the things I'm talking about are of sweetness. You see, yes. the, the sweetness that comes in, in Mautamu. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Yes, yes. So that is the that is how I got the name from our viewers who watch, who follow uh, my my teachings in Kikuyu. I did not, I honestly did not know that the world needed what I speak about until yeah. the world asked for it for yes. more. So that is anti of sweetness. Anti of, of sweetness. sweetness. Yes. So today we'll refer you to Sweet Carol. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> 
help introduce yourself to our people before we go any further. Our dear viewer, hello, 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 hello. My name is Karo, your health coach, or Karo Nyambura Nganga, or Mama Precious, or Tata Wamulio, or all of them are my names. And I'm so happy and so glad to reunite with Lynn. It's been a minute. She's also my namesake. I am a naturopathic health coach. I use nature to heal, prevent diseases, and manage diseases. Up and above that, I love, love, love teaching about sexual and reproductive health. And in sexual and reproductive health, we cannot avoid talking about sex. Good. So we'll talk about it. We'll talk about yes. it. Nice to see you Thank again, you. honestly. You. Yes. Are you loving the feedback you're getting from people? And also given, given that nature is your thing, yes. does it make you happy that Africans are finally coming back home? You have no idea how well I sleep every night. I am, I'm, you asked if I'm happy. Yes. I think honestly I'm overwhelmed in the most positive way. I did not anticipate, I did not expect the kind of response I've gotten the last two years and it has been a blessing for me. I love nature. The other day I was, I love stories. Yes, go on. So I was telling my sisters, you know, the other day it was raining. I don't know whether any of our viewers knows that it is very okay to be rained on. Yes intentionally yes it gets better when you're naked mm. Mm -hmm. so if you dance on the rain yeah you heal and so when i was telling my sisters and they were asking huh how do you do that i'm like yes because nature brings its own wealth of minerals all the minerals that we are looking for are provided for us by nature when i came in i always notice few things when i came in yes. a scholar received me when she was barefoot yes that was the best blessing that I ever received. Aww. So after this show, we are all walking outside and walking barefoot. For real, for Be real. Yes, because the soil has everything that we need. And today's conversation will show you that the soil itself, it can heal. Mm -hmm. Now, the awakening that is happening in Africa, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. thank you, thank you, because yes. finally we are getting there. I have been studying plants for the last 10 years. I love plants. I tell people I talk to plants and they talk back to me and they don't believe me until you come and live my life. So I am so happy to see that we are ready and open-minded. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful to even medical doctors. I have a whole team. I have R&B school. Wow. R&B is Rejuvenating Nature's Beam, my company. Okay. But now I have a school where I teach people how to do what I do. Guess what? Now, like uh, 5%. Our medical doctors have already graduated in that wow. uh, 12, 12 weeks curriculum that teaches you how to use nature, how to leverage on nature to heal. Mm -hmm. That is an awakening that I'm looking forward. Yes. Like we are not even ready for the massive awakening that mm. is coming. It's good. But nature heals. Nature is real. It has changed my life. It, it's been 11 going to 12 years of turning around from the day you are told you have cancer to turning around and living a healthy lifestyle. Oh, yes. goodness gracious. Yes. You are a walking testimony, you know. Yes. You know, you sit here, because I know maybe some of our audience are not familiar with your backstory, mm. and I would want you to talk to us about it okay. so that they understand where the connection between you, yes. nature, early menopause, and why you are so passionate yes. when it comes to talking about these things, yes. where it springs from. Yes. But first things first, mm. my condolences for the loss of your dad. Thank you. How is nature helping you in your grieving process? Uh, um, first of all, nature. Anytime you defy nature, and I remember Professor Wangari Mother used to tell us, the more you defy nature, the more you will have a hard time. So nature is helping me to allow myself to go through the process. One of the things I've struggled with, um, with uh, from last year, my dad has been terminally ill for a while. Mm. And so the last two years, it was very intensive. I knew my dad would be dying in February last year. So I went through anticipatory grief, a uh, grief, the one that you go through as someone is still alive. Mm. And one of the things that I have really struggled with is sleep. I was not able to sleep very well. Uh, uh, up and above the fact that I, I am the one who helps people with sleep, this time I could not help myself. I am happy that today, before I came here, I was able to sleep and I woke up in the morning and I was like, oh, thank you. Good. So nature is helping me go with the flow. There are days I'll cry. Yesterday I really cried. There are days I'll miss him. There are days I'll think about him. But nature 
also keeps reminding me, Carol, you did the best that you could for him. So I allow myself and I'm not fighting the grief. I'm allowing and walking through the grief mm. as I help other people go through it. Okay. And that is why I launched Healing Rain Oasis in the midst of my grief to help other people who are going through the grief. Mm -hmm. What's what's healing rain? Uh -huh. Aha. Sorry. Hey. If you don't want to talk about No, 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 it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. 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 Healing Rain is my re my most recent baby. Healing Rain Center is a space that I created in Rongai in Kenya mm -hmm. for caregivers. Wow. A safe space where you can come and just rest. It's actually a care and rest center. Why? My mom has been a caregiver for 40 years, for my grandmother, for my grandfather, for me, and for my dad. And the whole time we were working with my dad, as a caregiver, I went through a hard time, my brothers did, and my mom. But we didn't know where to exactly take my mom, to separate them from the patient. If you don't take care of the patient, uh, the caregiver, you end up losing the caregiver faster than the, the patient. So I really struggled with hopping from a hotel to another and I was the, the space was not safe and so I I had to I started in November I asked my dad's blessings and he said I bless you so I started in November and in February after a month after he died on the 40th day mm. I launched a center where you can come sleep because that is one thing that is lacking the last time I took my mom she had not slept for three months because mm. you go to sleep you're thinking my patient my patient my patient then you will take care of at the center you only eat healthy indigenous foods. I forgot myself, Lynn. Last year, I added so much weight. I was under so much stress because I was not able to eat the healthy way that I'm teaching people to eat mm -hmm. because I was busy up and down hospital, taking care of mom, taking care of my, my daughter went through depression in between. I am taking care of her and all these things. So at the center, you are also fed only African indigenous foods. At the center, there is a massage parlor. There's a place for you to walk barefoot. At the center, we walk barefoot. It's an African setup. Mm -hmm. And then we are also helping you with grief. We have grief counselors for Beautiful. the people who've lost their loved Beautiful. ones. And for the people who'd want to have funeral directors. Yes. I am a writer. I do beautiful eulogies. I did a beautiful eulogy for my dad. Wow. And so for me, I believe it's celebration of life should be, should not be born, died. Sick. This and this, ah, no. education. So education. So at mm -hmm. the center, you just come and find peace. I was building that space for the caregivers, but somehow I have realized that the, the world is needs it. the world needs it mm -hmm. for mental health because the world is also tired. Yes. The world is tired. Mm -hmm. So it's a safe space. And we also have an escape room where you can come and scream. Adults are looking for a place to scream and punching bag in. You can come and remove all the angers. Mm -hmm. Psychologists on the standby. And it's just a, a space that I needed mm -hmm. to help me. But now I realized, let me not walk alone. I have that weakness. I, when I find a problem, I don't know how to walk through yeah. it by myself. Yeah. I walk with someone else. So yeah. that has been my journey. And grief is not easy. Oh, anyone griefing. I've also been sharing my grief journey on TikTok. I've been sharing my grief journey on social media because I realized we over... Um, I really felt bad because I was telling people I don't want to view my dad's body. I was with him until few few hours before he died and I said my goodbyes. But... Some people are forcing it on me and they could not understand. They're like, no, you need closure. I'm like, no, I know why I've chosen that. Yes. Then I felt there are some few things I was like, then when you talk about death of someone, like for me, I had to prepare my family nine months before the demise of my dad that they, he's dying and he's still alive. And he, he used to call me and tell, tell me, tell your mother, tell your brothers that I'm dying. He gave me his eulogy in July and he died in January. Mm. So talking about death in Africa has become, we, we, we are still scared Don't of talking wish. about about someone dying. And, and it's a whole journey. Mm. So the things that are personally experienced, every, not, not everyone will agree with me, but anyone who agrees with me, they'll come and see. Because they remember how I struggled. Me, I don't want to view the body. And everyone is holding your back and telling yeah. you, no, no, you need to view. And then someone tells me, don't cry. Uh, don't cry it so much well. because of your mother. I'm like, excuse me. No, my mother is mourning her husband. I'm mourning my dad. Please allow me to cry. My daughter, I, I lost my wuka when I was uh, in 2011. And I didn't feel like I was justified to cry for him too much. Someone even asked me, why are you crying so much and he's not your father? Mm. 
so I, I allowed my daughter to walk through the pain of losing her grandfather. Yes. Many of us have lost. I've, I've watched shows here. People who are raised by their grandfathers and their grandmothers. And, and that is where their heart is. Why are we denying them that chance allow to cry? Them, like, just them. grief is very unique. And I, I, I don't know. I don't fear death, mm. honestly. Neither no, do I. I'm not calling it in, Neither but do. I don't fear it. Neither but do. I remember posting a couple of weeks back, we were at church. Mm. And I remember the pastor asked us, if you have one week to live, you know, what are some of the things you would do more? And what are some of the things you mm. would let mm. go of, right? Mm -hmm. So I remember posting that on my social media. Of course, people are saying the things they would let go of anger blah 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 mm -hmm. but then there's this person who said i refuse to die death is not ours i'm like we're gonna die we're gonna die I know, ways. I know. you know you I know and and I, it's a hmm. transition it's a transition whether we like it or not we'll go through it yeah. of course saying we don't fear death is not that we are calling on it Good. no it's just that we are admitting for me i had to fall sick and maybe that is where my story starts yes. that um 2012 2012 yes 2012 normally i give my i have i'm very high on self-love it's good. so every birthday i give myself a gift yes every birthday so 2012 i had said i'm going to gather courage and take this thing called pap smear because when i was at the university of nairobi and there used to be those times of october when there is free screening i never went yes. i allowed my friends to go and i was like hey me i'm not doing that thing and then there was this myth of hey uh, you will go and panua utaenda kutura mira dagitale it's painful don't do it you know those things uh, pop smear was not very many people are not familiar with it at that time i was not going for screening because i was sick i was actually going to use my employer's medical cover because it needed to like it, was, it needed to be used yes. i was being a very loyal employee who uses the medical cover once in a year <laughs> once in a year so and then also growing up i used to admire women who uh, at a, i went for a medical checkup how me was like yani you have money baka you're going i used to say when i grow up and i have my own money me i'll be going for these medical checkups yeah. just for the sake of it so me I had gone for um, my birthday gift walked into a hospital and I told them, check from head to toe, check anything, you know. Like by that time, Lane, the closest I had come to cancer was maybe reading a magazine and seeing someone maybe got sick. You, like you, you feel at that time you are 26 turning 27. So cancer is no, so you are thinking maybe diabetes, maybe yes. hypertension. So I did a check and they did the check they could check and i remember because i was very scared of uh, pap smear i called my friend rose and i told her rose because when you were in campo you, you used to go for this uh, give me the courage because me ibado na ogopa give me the courage i do the pap smear so i was on phone when the pap smear was being done and so she, and it was done within less than a minute yes. and the nurse was like ah oh, we are done I'm like ah why were women telling me that it's painful or whatever and she told she explained to me one month later I uh, literally, I did my test and I walked away. Yeah. So one month later, me, I'm going for a date to try and reconcile one of those damaged relationships that we try to force in our lives. <laughs> Character development. <laughs> <laughs> no, those, my friends and I call them the accidents yes. that you, I was forcing issues on that relationship. I'm passing, the date was upstairs. So I'm passing by the hospital and he's late. That's how damaged it was. And I said, let me pass time by picking my results. So I walk into that hospital and I told them my name. They started looking for it. And at some moment, their faces changed. It was like, huh? Then they were like, shush, shush, shush. They're moving from this office. There were two girls, two ladies in a white dust coat. Eventually, after like 30 minutes, I asked them, so wh what's up? They told me, hey, madam. Then she's holding my paper. Hapa, tunana ni kama ukona cancer. Lakini hatuwezi kuambia. Daktari hayuko. Huh? I was like, wait, which cancer? Remember, I did a diabetes. You can, like I was not going to hospital to check cervical or breast or anything. So I asked her, so daktari ya kuapi? She says, the doctor is only available on Tuesday and today is Friday. <coughs> this is one of the branches of a main hospital. Now it's in Thika. And I'm like, so where's in Yambia? So which type of cancer? Ah, we can't talk about it. We are not allowed to. 
you've already told me. And that's how they deliver the news. <coughs> that is what I was told. Sorry, scholar. Mm-hmm. Then I just somehow, you know, normally you don't think about asking for those results. I yes. don't know for some t- some reason I got the courage and I said, give me the results. I'll come on Tuesday. Took my results, picked them, put them in my bag, went for the date. Hey. Try and force issues. And the relationship, of course, could not work. Yes. <laughs> Three days later is when I was thinking, what did these guys tell me? So I took the results and I did the mistake that most people do. I went to Dr. Google. Whew. That is when you you Google and you you feel all the symptoms that you are reading. And that is when I realized it is cervical. So one, the first thing I read was cervical cancer is transmitted by HPV, human papilloma virus, which is sexually transmitted. Hi. So you're asking yourself, Jehovah. So then you are even confused of, is it an STD? Is it an STI? Is it, what is it? You see, when you don't have the col- correct information, yes. here you, you can think. create, and me, I'm an overthinker. I created a mountain out of God knows. I started bleeding, like I got my periods there. And I was like, wow. So uh, the way I'm, I am naturally, and around that time, my dad was really, really, really sick. He had, I think he had just, he had just, he was just pl- planning for a transplant that around that time. Mm. So I couldn't tell my, anyone. I said, I'm going to handle this alone. Me, I'm not telling anyone. Because how do you even start telling people that your cervix is sick? The, first of all, for the viewer, the cervix is inside the vagina. So it means for them to access the cervix, they have to go through my vagina. And the journey began there in January 2023. Uh, 2013. 2013, yes. And it is out, in and out of hospital. You go to the next hospital I went to. I met a, a doctor, a gynecologist, still using my, my medical cover. And a gynecologist tells me, ah, we just removed this uterus. He's not even looking at me. So I ask him, it is the cervix that is sick. Why are you removing the uterus? Ah, you see, when my mother has one child, da, 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 he, t- he was a very elderly person. He told me a whole story of how he was born. I was like, okay, you didn't answer me. I don't understand why you are removing the uterus and you are telling me it's the cervix that is sick. I left that doctor. Long story is after three months, I found a good doctor, Dr. Yamal Patel. I am forever indebted to Dr. Yamal Patel. He was human. He held my hand. He explained to my brother and I for more than 30 minutes what cervical cancer is, mm-hmm. what causes it, why, da, 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 da. Like a doctor who will take you through like a, te- a six-year-old. Yes. And uh, finally, I sat down. Of course, it was not as easy as it sounds today. And I made a decision of removing my entire reproductive system at the age of 27. Because that, to me, that is that was the easiest option. I was very clear and told, I had discussed with my doctor and he had allowed me to discuss with other doctors. He was very generous to a point. He gave me contacts to other doctors wow. who I can consult. Wow. That's, that's very humane. And he used to call me by my name and would call me on phone and check on me and all this. I felt safe. So on 23rd of March, I, it means I removed my reproductive system. So as you see me, I only have a vagina. Oh, wait, <laughs> okay. All of it gone. Yes, I decided the cervix is like this. Eh? Yes. It had, it, sometimes it grows. Of course, the doctors will understand they, they do that just the same way we do with the breast. Mm-hmm. Mm, this time it had not grown. The, the cancer cells were not just on the cervix. They were on one side of the cervix and had touched the mouth just okay. slightly. So they said they can cut, but I told them no. I'll be waking up every morning wondering if we left some or if we. So I chose total hysterectomy. Yes. So, and then the doctor was really kind. He told me, Carol, I don't want to scar you. So we did laparoscopy, total hysterectomy. Oh. If you look at my tummy, I have no scar. Unless I tell you, you wouldn't know that yes. that happened. Yeah. So they did a beautiful, uh, uh, safe surgery and uh, recovery started there. So it means I went through menopause at 27. My mom had not gone through menopause. My aunties had not gone through menopause. It was a strange thing for me. It was so strange that you don't know what to do. You don't know. You don't know hot flashes. If you've never met hot flashes, you have no idea what. You have no idea how they are. Mm-hmm. Oh God, they are terrible. You are sleeping. You are sweating, and the entire bed is wet. 
because you're sweating the next minute you're cold the next minute you're angry the next minute you don't even understand yourself at all so that is where my journey began because now um luckily for me my bosses my former bosses boss yeah. had just gone through something similar to what i had gone through but she had not talked me the bold out Cut there this. after i went to this i went after surgery i went back to the office that time i was working for usaid i wrote an email to the entire kenyan office guys go for screening i went this this like i told my castoli my castoli mpaka the directors were like eh Why? Eh, that girl and yes. i was only a field officer yes. hey, hey. so my bosses bosses came to see me and she told me guess what i went through this three months ago i wish i spoke about it because maybe it would have been easier for you mm. but now you have inspired me and we became friends she took me to faraja cancer center wow. she now we started walking the the the, the, the menopause because now her she's older she was around six she was around 50 something so for her we started walking through the menopause journey together and then i went online i really desired i really desired someone who would understand remember 27 no one none of your age mates would understand what you're going through none of the other women will understand mm. and then this is a taboo to talk about there is even one of my aunties who told me i na wewe unaongea sana about your sex your vagina shut wachana must you manino. tell people about you eh? yeah. it's your private part keep it there keep it there so i went <laughs> on my <Your> aunties <laughs> and i found a wonderful group that to date i am a, a member i don't know i think they are in the i don't know which country they are in but i if i i i, I if there is a group that helped me a safe space it's called hister sisters and every year they'll send me an anniversary they'll check on me and that is when i realized what i'm going through is nothing strange every other woman in the world is going through it that is when i got bold and i i started with social media i quit my job not knowing what i'm going to do I quit my job. I woke up one day and I said I'm done. They asked me where are you going? I said no other woman will ever go through what I've gone through in silence. Wow. No one cuz everyone was telling me Shut. now I'm going to talk about it until you guys you get tired. Mm-hmm. Went on Facebook. Yes. Blogs everywhere. I started telling women, women, it is okay. Your cervix is yes, it's called the private part, but let don't die alone. I still remember there are three things that I had asked God. Yani any god I would have died without knowing how to drive to swim and going to Masai Mara hey me i'm not going to do this are you for real <laughs> <laughs> it's drive swim and Masai Mara for you yes it's like huh? any you could have called me home without me swimming how would i even explain, explain to you that i was in this world and i never learned to swim <laughs> that is how determined i am i walked into a swimming pool and i watched what people are doing and in 6 hours i was in the deep end i've never gone back wow now i teach people how to swim wow <laughs> wow then all the two savings i had i went to masai mara <laughs> sometimes i look at my face and i'm like ah caro masai what masai mara alone and then i have a daughter who is in school you have rent you to pay mom before yes, now, i was before, a mom before they um, removed five the years prior. five five years prior <laughs> so i'm like hey, me i'm going to masai mara i went to masai mara and god works in mysterious ways 10 years when i was marking 10 years somehow i found myself in masai mara the first spot where we were going to drop a guest it is that center that i work, worked in, that i live i went that time and the owner noticed me and he remembered me wow like yeah yeah you came here with so and so 10 years later so i give the, that's why i told you i'm very big on self love and it's uh, sometimes you would think it's more about me but it is okay it is me who it's because of me that we are here i mean so so i mean i would not be here if it was not me so i have to love me yes okay snoop dog let's go and i, I thank, thank me, me. <laughs> I want to thank me. <laughs> you passed the vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you think about it, if you quit your job, you're going to help women. Yes. And you can't even give yourself a gift as small as taking yourself to Masai Mara. What help? What kind of help are you going to give other women? Mm-hmm. And anywho. So I started an NGO called Held Sister Foundation. Yeah. Held is hold every lady in distress. When I was starting, me I wanted to give information like women please go for screening women and then i 
told more women if you ever meet someone in matatus telling people it's just a passion mimi i was that girl i would go and find two women excuse me excuse me hi my name is caro uh, there is something called papsmia do you know about it like i strangers i would go to churches and beg pastors and priests please give me a chance to talk to the congregation and tell them because like unaskianga mushene lazima itoke please go for pubs near please 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 it saves lives because my life was saved da, 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 da. and that is how people got to know about what i'm doing health sister foundation i started to give the information the more i gave the information the more they asked me so then you've told us to go for screening where do we go i told them but in the media I'm seeing the government saying that there is pubs near go to the government hospitals then they'll come back and tell me no we were thrown out by that time the whole screening process was a mess and then I was like god so you called me to go and tell people to go for screening then they are not finding this solution so what do I do one day I was just walking in Thika I turned like this lane I saw a hospital I had never seen family health options and I walked in excuse me may I talk to the senior doctor here taken to Dr. Kamau. Hey, Ms. Dr. Kamau, my name is so and so. I have this thing in my heart. It's so heavy. Please, how can we work together? It's my purpose. And he started smiling. I'm like, eh? Why are you smiling? He held my hand, took me to Anne's office and told me, "Tell her what you just told me. They had just been funded to do exactly what I wanted to do. Oh. They have the funding. I don't have the funding, but I have the women. So they don't know where to start." <sighs> Boom. 2014 50,000 women were screened in Kenya. 50,000. Kiambu, Moranga, Machakos, anywhere like we went to Western. At the same time Mary stops joined in, Aga Khan Hospital joined. In. I got so many people willing to come for this screening. So now you have come to the village. Lynn, you didn't know about cancer. We have screened you for breast cancer and for cervical cancer. Then we tell you you are, you are sick. What have we done? We are bringing suicide. We, we, we I actually lost like three women to suicide because they were like I can't take this. By the time I, they were getting to me, they had already committed suicide because they are like you just told me I have cancer. Around that time, everyone is saying cancer is like a death sentence. So, you don't know what to start and I'm like, "Kai, now God, you you keep creating problems for me and you keep calling me mm-hmm. to do this." Mm-hmm. and god in his own mysterious ways he gave me the courage again to walk into eco bank pam 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 so broke but you walk and i met some ladies and we talked and then i told them can we sponsor some patients can we help some very needy ladies by that time i had like 13 15 women in Kenyatta National Hospital because other than going to the villages I used to go to national hospitals district hospitals and just hug people because when I was sick the only thing I wanted was a hug I did not want anything and that is why my organization is called Held Sister because I needed to be held I used to go to Kenyatta and just hug 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 people and I started a program called Will You Be My Volunteer in valentines where we just go to Kenya and just hug people and hug and hug and give them flowers and just nothing else because i didn't have much to give mm-hmm. so health sister foundation was born i went to eco bank and they were able to sponsor some women and then i started online you know you will find one thing um i've learned the hard way is that i can't save the world i really wanted to save the world mm. and it it was hard i'll not tell you i'll not uh, today i mentor people who want to do philanthropy and i tell them you better be ready for this and this and this and this philanthropy is good it gives you fulfillment it helps but, you so much but, but mm. <sighs> let me tell you i remember there is a time because in 2014 is when i got like 2014 and 2015 i got like four international awards is a time I was called for an international award timeless woman of wanda you see the title yes i didn't even have fear to go and receive it i really cried on my way home and i'm like god yani you're making the whole world celebrate me and i'm dying over here alone and i don't know how to explain to my family because they are asking you why did you quit your job 
eh karo ati ulenda kusaidia sasa hiyo you have even removed your clothes and given someone to wear your own clothes shika va the same people will come and insult you the same people will come and say this the same people anyway of course there are so many lessons that come by but i don't regret so now the women have started getting treatment uh, for those who when we come to the village and we find you are in your early stages i got partners who do cryotherapy cryotherapy is where we freeze the cells to stop growing and then there are others who there's lip where we cut yeah. so there are will there are people who are willing now to come i went through the training myself i'm not a doctor but i had to go through the training because the women will say ule mwalimu alitufundisha ndiye ataniangalia you're in a village a 70s 80 year old says mm -mm, the only person i'm showing my vagina ni ule so i had to be trained so i have i have i learned how to check and all these things then after now you have started the treatment i realized I, the more the treatment is going on the more their uh, health is going down kwani what's happening the more they do the chemo the more they do the radio. I was like hey, what's happening and i started asking myself what are they eating what can i provide that they can we can complement with whatever treatment that they are getting in between of course i lost so many people in 2017 i snapped into depression like so many people died on my hands i was like god you so you called me then you kill them you called me then they die and then i snapped into depression and when i went uh, i didn't know that i was depressed a friend of mine is the one who came and told me carol you are sick I told him no i'm not sick he dragged me to a psychologist and after several sessions one thing i was sure is i told him okay i'm i'm a bit stubborn i told him one thing you are not going to treat me with is medication i have no problem with people who choose to take medication but i'm not taking medication so when i was diagnosed with uh, depression and all this i told him i'm going to do my research and know what are the natural antidepressants that god gave us because god must have given us some antidepressants wow. and so i started my research that is how i healed through therapy and the nat the 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 the, 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 the natural, natural ways remember menopause at this time is still disturbing me but i don't know what is disturbing me So one day you are like this if if you live with me for two months you'll see the difference. Today my breasts grow. If you meet me after two weeks they will have reduced and my hips will have grown. If you meet me another two weeks my hips will reduce and this part will grow. Wow. Yes. So I've studied my body. I've seen aha uh -huh. when the estrogen is high the progesterone is low body keeps changing. So uh, around that time uh -huh. <laughs> I remember I did a, an event at Kempinski and then I was dressed in a very nice gray dress and you know then I posted on social media. Someone wrote for me, please which choose which stomach you can keep. You have three stomachs. What's wrong with you guys? <sighs> like that laughed me like a I looked at the photo and I said the new I have three stomachs. Yeah. It was here, yeah. here yeah. and here. <laughs> then I said I need to heal. Yes, I understand my body is behaving like this, but I need to understand the natural remedies for belly fat. So, today I know before God even if I remove you will see I don't have belly fat. Yes. I I don't have Michelin tires. Wow, Carol. Because what are you telling me? I was told I have Michelin tires. Be kind about it like <laughs> Guys, I not going. Like <laughs> because our viewer understands and I'm sure they have been told by someone indirectly or directly because we are very good at body shaming. Yes. Yes. Body shaming each other. And so they are I, I, I just realized why well, me I'll not allow this but I need to find a solution. So those are the two two different solutions depression and belly fat. In between my mom is remember when I got sick after I got surgery I went back to my mom and she used to feed me some stuff but my mom is a very calm sweet woman. Haja soma. So she used to come every morning with a jug full of water. And then mom would ask I, would ask, I never bothered to ask cuz it's your mother. It didn't taste at it so sweet. But six months after surgery doc my doctor opened his mouth and told me I don't understand what your body is doing but it is magically healing itself. What are you eating? I told him no just my mom's food. But every morning she used to give me a boiled egg. I never knew what she was doing. So remember now I've gone to Kenyatta and I'm seeing people who are deteriorating. So who do I call first? Mom. My mom. Mommy. Now this this woman, hey, she's bleeding. Okay, I don't know what to do. 
It's like, hmm, hmm, uh-huh, 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 okay. Then she'll cook something. My home is not very far from where I live. So she'll cook, uh, uh, give a matatu, bring, I take to Kenyatta. Two, three weeks, bleeding stops. Ah, mom, there's someone with a kidonda. <laughs> then she's like, mm, go and mash this on the kidonda. Two, three weeks. Ah. That is when I woke up in 2016. I was like, my mom must be knowing something that I don't. But we always assume our mothers and our grandmothers, because they are not learned, they, they give, don't know. They don't know like what bacon is. Nikasema, mm -mm. Something kept calling me. 2016 is when I launched a nutrition program. I sat down with nutritionists. I sat down with all the experts to understand, can we come up with a solution for the cancer patient who is going through chemotherapy and radiotherapy or any other treatment to complement so that their bodies cannot stop, can stop wasting away. The biggest consultant, of course, was my mom. Yeah. And the more she gave me three weeds, I'll tell them, I'll tell you this, these three weeds in Kikuyu. Mushege, Mufagi, Mudoga. Mexican marigold, yes. dandelion, and blackjack. Wow. The more I give my patients, their blood count went high. Da, 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 da. their bodies changed. I started with a gentleman called Gabriel. May he rest in peace. He was he he had been given three weeks. He lived on four years. Wow. Natural juices. The wife was busy. Lydia was up and down. We were always juices doing this. The medoga me fagi the anything. His body never wasted away. And then I was like, ah, okay. So now this brought in a category of another other patients. The people in the palliative care, the ones who have been told there's nothing much we can do. And so I said, again, I have a crazy faith. I want to take these people to five-star hotels. I want to give them the best of their last days. Do I have money? So what do I do? I walk in confidence. Confidence is what I was selling, and this is what I sell to date. I walked in pam, 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 intercontinental pam. hotel. You have no fear from Vika, but you <laughs> You're going to Intercontinental. And then when I met someone and I was telling him what I want to do, he started crying. Like, Allah, Kwani, is it that? Kwani, ni yeah, wapi? Yeah. And he told me, Karo, two weeks ago, I buried both my parents to cancer. Anything you ever need at Intercontinental, we are here for you. Wow. Every year, from 2014, 2015, 2016, we, do, we used to do a brave and solve gift for the patients who know they don't have much long to live. We dress them up, we give them new clothes, we do some makeup and we, they go on a runway and we celebrate them and tell them, you are still brave. You can still make it. Yeah, let's do this. And so even when most of them rested, I had no sequin aden in a while. Most of them rested on my arms. They were good. They were good. I was able to give them the best of their last days. All these things sound very beautiful, but they came with so many challenges. So I also learned how to take care of myself. You asked me before the show, how do I care for me? That is when I learned how to draw the boundaries. That is when I learned how to give, not everything, leave something so that I can have enough to give for tomorrow. Yes. I learned how to refill my cup. So now I've already been slapped by depression. I've already been slapped. Uh, my, dad is, my dad is sick. I'm taking care of my mom. So I have to learn how to catch myself before I fall into depression. And so with time, I have ended up learning more about the foods that I can take to manage my mental health. And remember now even menopause also plays a very major role in the mental health. Mm -hmm. And so I launched a company called Afia Harvest. It was called Afia Harvest, but with, for reasons it grew. And now today it is Rejuvenating Nature's Beam. Wow. And Rejuvenating Nature's Beam consults on the natural remedies. This is why one of my books is called mm -hmm. Natural Remedies. How can we use what we have? So when you come to R&B and we listen to your case, it's quite a number of people who've come. I listen and I tell you, please, Lynn, go home and drink water. You're just dehydrated. Period. You're not sick. So many people are so so many people are not sick. They're yes. just they are just dehydrated. Someone else will come in. At R and B we check the soul first, the mind, and then the body. There are so many people blaming the disease. And it's not their body that is sick. Wana yumba yumba kwa zao. We have anger issues, we have refused to heal. We have 
what is it called Could, we are just covering up i i have met men and women who are afraid of owning themselves and loving themselves the way i'm saying there are so many i was telling my friend who if someone there's some there's someone who keeps saying oh you know me i love myself and you look at them and then you're like no you don't because the decisions you're making at uh -huh. R&B you are taught how to be a healthy life ambassador actually my program at R&B school is called naturopathic healthy life ambassador what does an ambassador do lives in that country so you have to live in that world of natural remedies so you have to drink the water you have to walk the talk so i am in a mission of recruiting as many people as possible to walk the talk mm. because most of us we only talk but we don't walk the talk mm. the walking the talk means dropping that sugar dropping that wheat dropping okay um, am i am i <laughs> well, you are attacking me hey buga i was a little girl and i think <laughs> okay at rnb you are taught how to slowly drop because again if you drop your mind will go into uh, it it will you will you will get with bro syndrome yes. yes so at we will teach you slowly how to stop feeling guilty i've worked with people from weight who had so much weight and actually one of the best success stories is a girl who i recently like it has been two years working with her when she was coming to me she could not breathe with her nose it was blocked completely she was 130 she was she had tried anything and everything but and nutrition blah, blah, blah. but we realized it was something internal something something in the heart yes the childhood traumas the emotions the anger issues yes, the, the 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 spiritual questioning that we yeah. always have you are not sure whether you want to be a christian or you want to be a mogekoyo you you roho yako imeyumba yumba and then we think that the body is not taking count a very good example our bodies and there's a book called your body keeps count you can look for that book when i lost my father i used to massage his feet when i lost him few weeks or even one month later my feet were swollen as his were used to be swollen they were always in pain until i released the emotions because the emotions went to the parts the body part that i used to connect to connect to. with heartburn is not a disease okay. heartburn is an a symptom that something is not right inside in your body gut. in the gut and how do you know that because the bacteria remember when you sleep hmm? when you wake up in the morning your mouth can even stink because the bacteria were oh. So imagine how many bacteria it has been oh. checked they say we have around 3 billion 3 million bacteria in your mouth and 3 trillion in, in your gut. gut. So if it is imbalanced and you don't take probiotics because you say probiotics give you a heartburn. Probiotic is acidic. You know break that for I know we yes, are digressing a bit but let me do that because of yes, me. Yes. You came in and I told you, "Jeez, I have heartburn, mm. you know. Yes. I get heartburn a lot. I'm mm. on Gaviscon, I'm on whatever." Mm. And you gave me this. Mm. Where, where is it? Yes, kombucha. Mm. Give me kombucha. Yes. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm going to be back with the topic <laughs> of the day. You gave me this kombucha. Mm -hmm. Thank you, scholar. You gave me this kombucha, right? This mm -hmm. is hibiscus. Yes. So here we have water, mm -hmm. uh, cane sugar. Mm -hmm. That's what we have here. Yes. And it's fermented. Yes. And I was like, oh, this is going to give me heartburn because this is what according to me it's mm -hmm. acid yes this is what gives me heartburn mm -hmm. could you break down how this will not give me heartburn <laughs> amazing <laughs> told you until a mautamu is in the house like this <laughs> mautamu mauta and it's, it, it does it taste bad no it's it so, tastes really look nice look at where i am I'm can i tell done. them what is yes. can i tell them what you said what you tasted yes <laughs> it's it says like moratina <laughs> Yeah I used to drink my Gukas Moratina. I was young. Yeah. These guys don't come yeah. for me. Don't they? Yeah. I didn't even know it was Moratina. Back to the conversation. Yes. How will this not give me a So why you are having heartburn is that there is heartburn um uh with what, what that one yes, acidity that one. Yes. um bloating constipation all these are not diseases. They are symptoms of a disturbed gut. So when the gut is disturbed how is it get the getting disturbed if you have 3 trillion bacteria in your stomach i want you to close your eyes and remember how your mouth feels when you wake up in the morning mm. imagine if your stomach feels like that mm. every day left right and center so if it keeps that it will keep having an imbalance so there is an imbalance of bacteria there is an imbalance of 
production of the acidity because of one reason or the other. <laughs> you will tell me that you don't get heartburn 24/7. Yes. There are some things that trigger. trigger. Kamkate. So those day, hey. actually I wanted to tell you so many people are mandazi as the way. Kamkate. <laughs> kamkate ndio wako sasa uh-huh. kamekuletea hiyo heartburn. So what probiotic does it goes inside your body and balances the bacteria. We have good and bad bacteria. And from today I want people to stop to stop hating on H pylori. H pylori is not a bad bacteria. It becomes bad when it overgrows because of the circumstances given. Your stomach will not survive without it. You will need H pylori. But we imbalance it with bad water, pre-cut fruits, we imbalance it with fridge food that has have been refrigerated mm-hmm. for long blah 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 and all these things. So, why you are having heartburn is because there is an imbalance of all this. A probiotic is acidic in nature. Anything fermented will be acidic in nature. Okay. However, not mm-hmm. high acid. Yes. yes. You see it's tamu you really want to really enjoy. Yeah? So what is happening it yes. is going to into your gut killing the bad bacteria and he giving a good environment for the good bacteria mm. so there is probiotic and there is prebiotic so prebiotic goes into your body and only gives a good and conducive back, uh, environment for the good bacteria it doesn't have the strength to kill the bad bacteria mm. so if you have h pylori which is overgrown this is what you take if you have fungal that is overgrown which is one of the symptoms that women in menopause go through they have fungal infection dandruffs breaking nails a vaginal yeast infection this these are fungal athlete foot that is fungal there are people who smell their mouth that is fungal how do you balance it by balancing the good bacteria in the gut people with skin problems skin problems they come from the gut so if you heal the gut you heal the whole person yeah. people with insomnia who cannot sleep so not just heartburn if you can't sleep if you check here on the probiotic I've say, talked about even the joint pains can you imagine when your bacteria are not balanced you'll have joint pains wow your hair will have a problem your wow. nails will have a problem you will always be tired so every human being starting with a child who has stopped breastfeeding should take a probiotic probiotic is something fermented not necessarily kombucha we have sauerkraut we have kimchi we have um, moratina we have uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> busa yes those every community has a fermented product we have maziwa mala we have mursik we have uji oshuruwa uh, mukio all these things are, and if you call back to our ethnic groups because i have studied a lot of ethnobotany ethnic groups every ethnic group has something fermented it is us who are running away from it do your research and Kikuyos see if you have moratina moratina ushuruwa mukio yes yes so if you do your research and look at the country called ethiopia i have studied them i have walked there i have admired them they only have a 3% a uh, a uh, population that is obese they don't have obesity look at the ethiopian girls they are here beautiful beautiful their, their skin, skin no me guess can. what all their food almost all their food is fermented their chapati is injera injera yes. yes they are they are wheat they have kept wheat ivy they have crossed wheat our biggest and doing is wheat they have they use turf turf they use bula so the population that has those problems that is why most of them are the hair hostesses because they are like oh, they are beautiful. beautiful their hair grows long they ferment almost everything if only we can go back to the basics and take the fermented foods that would be awesome that would be awesome i, I didn't believe in myself the biggest challenge we have is we don't believe in ourselves by that time south sudan juba i have helped like 500 people how hi karo i'm feeling like this do this i'm like okay sawa me i'll send i'll tell you i used to give free information corona hit everything i've been teaching people they started doing it they get well and they're like haya haya it works. seems this girl knows it what works. she's doing so then they in all this the curriculum that i teach in rnb school i wrote it in 2017 and i kept writing and writing and writing and that is when i started saying haya And now that you are broke, I think God also allows you to be broke so that you can think. I think so too. 
Because my breakthroughs came when I was broke. broke. And I was like, God, okay, I don't know what to do. Mm. My friend, Gugiwa Karaja, yeah. we had been friends for so many years since college. Yes. He was at NIBS when I was at UN. And he came told me, Karo, I really want to do your story with cancer. I'm like, ah, me, it's just a story. At I said, I know going to tell this story. Gugi, I've read so many books. I've done so much. Can you? Gugi is the one with the YouTube yes. channel. Oh, okay. Can you tell me a, a topic we can talk? And then he laughed. He laughs a lot and told me, let's talk about sex. I said, ah, Akisha, your camera. Kwani. Let's do it. Let's talk about sex. Kwani. And anyway, because I've been reading and also remember, women have been, men and women have been bringing their problems and I am a solution provider. Yes. Every problem you present me with, I'm good. I'm good. I will look for a solution. So the first show was, why are we not having, why are we having so many sexless marriages? And I talked and I told him, now, you see now women are struggling with yeast infection and UTI. And then in the process I mentioned, if you use tea tree oil, you can be able to prevent and manage a yeast infection, blah, blah, blah. Guy, I don't know whether it was a mistake. Women went and bought tea tree oil. Lynn, if you apply tea tree oil like here, you will burn. See, women were burnt here. <laughs> then they started writing. That woman is a liar. I'm like, guy, why? Go, okay, let's do another show now to explain how because, to use yes because i didn't explain oh, so they were taking tea tree oil and ah, just putting it beauty shops yeah. tea, tree. <laughs> tea tree oil is a very good oil but it needs a carrier oil mixed in the right proportions to do something so that it can heal otherwise it will burn even your face hey. tea tree te- treats even dandruffs and all these things so that's how we did another show now i explained so the show thank god people did not insult they asked, so where do we get it? Hey, me, I'm like, guy. That time I had 300 bob in my pocket. I went to a friend who is who has a salon passing time. To la hey, Jerry, guy, me ni kona stress. Sasa ni lienda kusha nendeka ni miambia watu. Me, I don't know. I can use a car. Do you know how to make the oil? Yes. Do you know the proportions? Oh, yes. yes. So why don't you? Ni kama me, me, I'm broke. Ni kama say, hey, how broke are you? Ni kama me, I have 300 shillings. She told me, hey. We'll do this. We'll buy. We will do this. Do you know where the tea tree oil comes from? I'm like, yeah, I've even planted some of these things. There. Like, she opened my mind. And this is when this was born. This is tea tree oil. This is happy vagina oil. Before we apply. And you can apply on your face. You can apply on your skin. Scholar, are you good? We do it. I called it happy This is happy vagina. Yes, you can apply here and smell. Just okay. apply on okay. your skin. Why am I wasting vagina oil on my hands? <laughs> <laughs> because I learned that your vaginal oh, skin is the same. It smells so good. So now I had all this information in my head and alone. You couldn't use so I made two bottles yeah. and I sold 600. So I made wow. capital. Wow. And in long story is in less than a month, Less, uh, the Smells next so yes, it's because I've added now menthol yes. and I've added a carrier oil mm. and I've made it in the right proportion that wow. will help a woman. I've taken it to the lab, it is tried and tested, and so you apply on the vaginal walls yes. and the anal areas. So this one says uh, it's effective against yeast, strong antibacterial and antiseptic. Exactly. So use four to five or apply on the vaginal mm-hmm. area yes. twice a day. Yes. So what after we need shower. to do oh after shower, guys. After shower. <laughs> yeah, don't apply when you are still <laughs> don't be applying when you're in Uber like <laughs> And also there are people who think this is a sex lubricant. It is not. I, I have, have a question. Yes, ask for the va- Yes. The VG. Yes. Where are we applying it? On the on labias, the lips, yes, on the out, lips and yes. the on the anal area. Because oh, remember okay. the anal area also transmits a lot of bacteria. Okay. The good and the bad bacteria from right. the anal area. Yes. So you apply on the lips. Don't insert, just don't put your hands anywhere. Yes. Don't insert, just apply the area. Okay. The same way you apply your face. You don't put here inside and yes, you put here. You just here put here. here. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. So when you apply it, it will prevent and manage if you have yeast infection if it is overgrown you might feel the you see they have a grown yes. imekula yeah. you will feel the pinch yes. the first two three applications mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but for me and you who are not sick and we don't to have this problem yes we will be able to keep applying yeah and 
Titri is also a skin toner. So when you when you the way it smells, huh? beautiful. Fungal infection and bacterial infection makes a woman has have a very smelly discharge. Yes. That's the first thing you dis it disappears. You but stop having that smell. false smell. Number two, the menthol will yes. and your vaginal area is very rich in nerves. I had no plans of doing this. It's God who inspired me to do this. Good. And so when the nerves are woken up, you will feel sexually aroused. Beautiful. Yes. So it's also a uh -huh. good for mm -hmm. living. So if you bedroom. have. So yes. for people with low libido, yes. this is it also. Yes. In our <laughs> panganga. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have low libido, you yes, do this. It will, it will wake your nerves up because the after clitoris. How long, after how many minutes? <laughs> like I'm just. <laughs> I don't oh want to be honey the whole day. <laughs> like, <laughs> I gotta know it. Okay. <laughs> One thing we will learn about it when we are we're using Tatawa is yes. a woman's uh, libido and honeyness comes from the heart, the mind, and then the body. Okay. So if you apply for just application, you would get honey. Okay. Like for me, I, I never think that it is going to make me honey. Yes. But for someone who was so dormant and the nerves were like this, the first thing they're like, I mean, it's a pack of a fitter coffee cup of fish in a field. But the, the first intention was to help first heal the in, in, infections and then Kumbe, it came with this. There you go. It is also applied as an aftershave. Oh, beautiful. For men, for, for me. women who shave and even men. Yes. There are men who are buying this. Yeah. Place. If you find this in your house, uh, don't ask your Do you woman. apply it on your skin? Yes, your skin it's is glowing. Deep, yes, you can uh, apply you can it on your skin. Oh, you feel. Okay, Carol. It's all about self-love. <laughs> you see? So this thing yeah. multiplied in numbers because remember after we did the first show on YouTube, now people are like, oh, there's a woman talking about sex. Give us more. Tell us more. Boom. Boom. In one month. My business had grown. I was an employer to more than 20 people. Was like, okay, fine, Carol, you've told us. So now my skin is breaking. I'm like, ah, okay, fine. So for that one, you do this and this. And like, okay, so where do I get it from? I'm like, so I thought these things were available. Nah. Then they'll go and buy the, the, the buy. ones that are not natural. Zinaribu, yes. Wanakuja tena. Yes. No, no, no. Give us a solution. Give uh -huh. us a solution. And because all this information was in my heart, in my mind, in my books, I just said, I'm taking a leap of faith. I talked to my lawyer. We did a trademark. We did all these things. And he was, I actually, before I talked to my lawyer, a, an intellectual property lawyer called Mr. Omuga, I tell him he saved me. He watched one of my videos. Yes. And he called me, told me, young girl, I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't care what, what you think about me, but I but want to tell you something. Work. You have no idea what you have in that head. Africa needs you. What is wrong with you? Why is it? Like, okay. Then he told me, go and pray to your God. Six months. If after six months he says you talk to me, come. I went sat him down, sat down with him. He asked me, so what do you do? I realized I do nothing. You know those moments you think that you're doing and progress and movement. Really you are just moving. I was just there. You are not yes. making progress. I was you're just moving. moving. Yes, I, uh, now I learned something. I learned I was doing donkey work instead of being a horse. A horse is well taken care of, and when it comes to run, That's you run. It. Mr. Obuga listened to me and told me, young girl, do you have an idea how much the world needs you? God has given you a whole mansion, and you are seated in the toilet saying, Nimefika, can you wake up and do what God is telling mm -hmm. you to do? Mm. He actually did not, he's not the one who did the patenting and all these things. Yeah. He opened the constitution and told me, look at, the constitution has protected you. Look at this. He really opened my intellectual property. And that is when I got the confidence of now going out with R and B, rejuvenating nature's beam. Because now I realized Afi Harvest, the one that I had done, someone had gone and registered. And then when I wanted to register, they said I pay them so that they can give me my name. By the yes. way, that's a warning for any anyone. social entrepreneur. That's what they do. They register. Please register. Then when you want to go register, they yes. ask you, have, yes. And most people are afraid of registering in the idea stage. Please register. Because that is how I lost that name. But I don't regret. I 
prayed to God. I am a very spiritual human being. I asked God, what do we call this company? He's the one who gave me that name. I don't know. I didn't even know rejuvenating nature has been, but it means we are restoring the smile of nature. Mm. Yes, that it's is what. Beautiful. And so R&B was born. Bam, 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 boom, 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 boom. All this information that I had was put into place. As we speak, we have more than 500 healthy products, wow. natural products from trees, from fermenting. I have, I just, last year I focused so much on learning on the cocoa plant. When I choose to learn something, I go all the way. What did you study in uni? You were? Economics and sociology. Hey, look at you, babe. <laughs> and doing the teacher, yes, good. I know. <laughs> so I studied the cocoa plant that I went to Ghana, to Uganda, to study the plant because of menopause. And that is, I think, one of the reasons why we are well, here. Let's go there. Because one of the minerals one of the most important minerals that woman, every woman lacks at some point in their life is called magnesium. And this magnesium is very rare in our diet. Very rare. However, God in his own wisdom, in his own infinite wisdom, he gave us two wonderful plants that we take for granted. One is called avocado. Makorofia, magunagui. The one we take for granted, it breaks my heart when I see farmers in Moranga, in Kiambu, in Kisumu, in wherever, farm so many avocados, put them in an aeroplane and send them away. It breaks my heart when I see people taking advantage, taking avocado just like a normal, just like a fruit. Avocados have every, the, the fleshy part has magnesium, has healthy oils, has zinc, has the minerals that are very rare in our diet. The indigestion problems we can heal with the avocados. That should be our day-to-day -day everything. The seed, the pulp of the avocado seed. When I started teaching this, people thought I was crazy. I've watched it help children who are born with bone problems walk. I've watched older men and women with arthritis and all these problems. It is so rich in calcium, you wouldn't believe. The seed? Eh? The seed. The one we throw? Yes. After we remove yes. the avocado? Yes. So we're supposed to eat it? Careful, <laughs> 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 I'm being honest. Like yes. an apple? No, you cannot eat it because it's tasteless. Yes. What I do, I, you can either boil when it's ready, when it's fresh, or you can solar dry it. Remember I said solar, yes. not steamer. Yeah. All my products are solar dried. If you come to my farm and the production center, you'll find a solar dryer. Mm. Solar dryer does not remove, does not reduce the quality. It only takes out the water part. Yes. And then when you put it back into water, so I have it in powder form. Beautiful. Then you can add to your uji, you can take it to your water, oh, you can add it to, to, my to, to your hibiscus, whatever. But if you have it fresh, boil it and let me tell you this information is there i have learned most of us only know about cocoile akununua kwa supermarket hey. that is the byproduct i went to ghana they asked me but what are you going to do with that thing it is the byproduct the end product they cut the cocoa the cocoa, cocoa that we buy in the ah, super it is the most useless useless the next show i'll bring you the cocoa bean so the cocoa bean has been born like this Inside there, there is a fruit. Inside there are beans. So the bean, inside the bean, we have the cocoa nibs. This is where they remove the cocoa butter, the one you apply on your faces. Okay? These nibs, you, if you melt it, the mafuta will come. So it has the natural mafuta just like an avocado. Okay? And then this is the outside part of the, co the cocoa bean. So... Why the original dark chocolate is very expensive? This is what I, this is the original dark chocolate. Yes. I yeah, have. our first time you gave me dark, <laughs> dark chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> so I make it from the most natural. Why it's expensive is because we have not removed anything. But the other chocolate that you take with milk and sugar and sugar, what Meat. it has so many other things. It is made from the byproduct of this so useless so useless so what a cocoa plant gives you and i've come to learn that even the cocoa leaves 
the study that I keep doing is why do we why is it that we forget about the leaves and we eat the fruits? So for me, I focused on the leaves. So even avocado leaves, I use them to help beat cholesterol. Hallelujah. Wait, you eat those? <laughs> yes. Like with ugali or what? <laughs> You can add them to your mboga. Hey, Karo, man. Yes. Karo, pole, pole. It was supposed to be a slow conversation. Like, so I just chop these things. You can. You visit my mom. She will cook for you. You will not know what you are eating. My mom will make for you kiongoro, the, the purple part of the banana. She will make for you avoca the avocado leaves. She'll, mango leaves, also the same thing. However, for me, what I do is I have solar dried them. You add them in hot water and you infuse. That's, that's easy. You drink that. Yes. So all these plants, the cocoa and the avocado, have the amount of magnesium. This one has more than almost 100% magnesium and iron that a woman needs magnesium let me try to be scientific yes. in the layman's language yeah. magnesium is the mineral that helps your body break down the calcium calcium is the one that is hidden in the bones the one that makes your bones strong the teeth the nails the hair and all these things so it means even if i give you a whole dozen of cal calcium and you have a deficiency of magnesium we are doing a lot of zero that work means. that tells you why most menopausal women or even our elderly parents we are giving them a lot of calcium and never remembering to give them magnesium so they keep telling you ah na hizo ni kama hazi hazi saidi magoti magoti cuz it's still the same problem magnesium so i'm i'm uh, i think i need a body uh, yes. it's magnesium is the mother it's like a triangle yeah. the, it will help you with the breaking down and processing of this calcium okay this same magnesium will help you when the vitamin when the sunlight hits your skin break down and give you vitamin d wow most menopausal women are told they have deficiency of vitamin d and they live in africa how and, the sun and vitamin d comes from the sun how mm. so that tells you so can i use a magnesium based product a sunscreen also um homework yes i will do that homework yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> so magnesium is the mother of all the feel good hormones okay not hormones feel good experiences without good amount of magnesium you can't enjoy sex <laughs> mm -hmm. yes you need that is why valentines we you are given what chocolate you mumunya and you're like mm. A pineapple does the thing uh, Sasa, now we are talking about now the things that you're going in in that process yes we will come back and look at the pineapple and the okra why is it that women are abusing okra and pineapple but is it good we want to know we are not it is an anti-inflammatory it's it good it is it is Wait, good. so this helps me yes with sex? why 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 are you given chocolate during valentine's and have you ever thought about they are it fattening the cow for <laughs> slaughter <laughs> They are giving you magnesium. <laughs> so magnesium helps you feel good because the role of magnesium is to calm down your muscles, your body. That is how when someone comes to me with menstrual cramps, they have pain. I give them magnesium, the pain will disappear and the bleeding will come out because the muscles are like this. Wow. Magnesium helps you sleep well. Without good magnesium, you'll not be able to sleep well. Wow. Without magnesium, you will have muscle spasms. Women who are in menopause will tell you they have men, uh, they have muscle pulls. Yes. It's the same thing. Magnesium, when taken as a laxative, it, it will help. If we can take it as a laxative, it will help loosen up. Like for example, two days ago, I took, I did a colon cleanse. I do my colon cleanse once in every three months with Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate. So in the market, there are all sorts of magnesium, magnesium oxide, magnesium sulfate, magnesium. And this magnesium is very maringo. It counter affects. There are some minerals that you will take with the magnesium and your body will not process. Mm. So you have to be careful when you're taking, you have to really understand the whole dynamic. So magnesium is also the, man, the, the mineral that manages your mood swings. When you're angry, 
people who are diabetic most when i was making this i was making it for my dad my dad had been diabetic since 1991 i think and of course they get anyone you've ever lived with someone who is diabetic they get angry so easily without even knowing why they are angry it's because they have a deficiency of magnesium oh. and when they take chocolate the other chocolate their diabetic their sugars will go up so i created something that is safe for a diabetic i created this for my dad he takes up just a small piece boom and he comes down hot flashes in yeah. women and cold flashes hot flashes ni sweat yes this we sweat mm. hot flashes ni kitu ni kama unaslapiwa poa with sweat you feel there are even women who faint you sweat you sweat uncontrollably if you take a bite of the dark chocolate it disappears why because you provided your body with magnesium literally our bodies need magnesium like every left right and center but our diet has minimal yeah Jeez. when you go to the salon when you have so one thing i've learned about uh, menopause menopause is in my own language a time when god calls a woman and tells you stop giving others and give yourself And he says stop. Since a girl is born, she's told do do not the the periods I don't know what then you're giving but then one day the god then god says I need to reward you. But why women are suffering is they're not willing to stop. They're not willing to give themselves. Why? Because they were taught give 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 give. Our mothers give 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 give. They will die giving. So they'll die with so many problems some of the side effects some of the symptoms of menopause menopause has three different stages you have perimenopausal you have the menopause and postmenopausal now i am postmenopausal i still experience some of these problems some of, but now i've managed I, not to say that i don't like for example if i'm under so much pressure i get the hot flashes mm. i get all these problems yeah. because that is how my body is mm -hmm. but you when you learn what makes you you know you will just keep learning your body mm. menopause calls you to stop focusing on everyone else and so focus on yourself that is why some of the symptoms i'll just randomly say there are more than 40 symptoms randomly yeah. some people their skin break breaks badly the worst i have had is body odor the serious bad body odor there is like three women i'm working with i'm still doing my own research she was okay until when she hit 48 and she cannot sit in this room with us the body odor becomes too much mm. we have reduced sulfur we have tried everything there are people who start smelling their mouth they will have a bad bad mm. mouth they will smell on their vagina they will have dry vagina why because of the structure of the vagina the estrogen has uh, reduced in terms of production and all these things there are women who will have a um, thinning of the hair including this one is a woman who came to my office alikuja kama amejifunika and she's like karo wame niroga wame niroga i've just woken up without even this even this like no <laughs> hair nothing <laughs> then there is an there is another category of women who will tell you i have excess hair they start getting beard why because estrogen goes down testosterone goes, goes up, up and this becomes a man menopause if you don't take care it become, it makes you a man trapped in a woman's body i was once that woman who was trapped there is a time i was very masculine if you go back and watch my photos i was very masculine these days i uh, like you bro bro <laughs> <laughs> <Look up. laughs> and that is how previously traditionally used to see our mothers used to move from the bedroom from dad's bedroom and move to another our shoshos used to sleep in separate bedrooms yes. these are two men who are sleeping in the same bedroom what are you telling them is a woman who is trapped in a this is a man trapped in a woman's body so that explains why they will experience low libido but you don't have enough estrogen how will you want sex you will have more testosterone so you any monaume most women become very productive business wise when they are in their menopause age they think straight like a man they stop being very emotional they don't cry just like this they think straight in the morning you wake up you're very logical if I, i i like using my own example if i want to think i think in the morning like a man that is why men get uh, 
an erection in the morning. Testosterone is high in the morning. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? You think they love sex in the morning? It's not their fault. It's the it's biology. It's the biology. Between 3 a.m. and 10 a.m., the testosterone is high. Even for us women, it's only that now it's suppressed. Like, for example, for you, you have not gone through menopause. You, it's suppressed by the estrogen. Yeah. But if you allow it, you will also have testosterone. Oh. That is why women don't want morning glory. Because you are low. Yes. Hey. It's a whole graph. <laughs> You're doing it for us today on the show. <laughs> Teach them. So you, to us yes, you need to understand the graph. And that is what will even reduce the marital issues that we are having. Because imagine me, I don't want sex in the morning. You, you want sex in the morning because your testosterone is high. My testosterone is high. I think very straight in the morning. That's why I'm not a morning person. I may think very straight. So I have, I, I think I was talking to uh, your producer in the morning. I was telling her, Mimi. I allowed myself to be who I am. I do not even fight being a morning person. I'm not. Because like today I slept at 5.30 in the morning. Whoa. Thinking like, me, yeah, I think like this. Yeah. So if I don't get even a man who will help me and a man who I have helped him to understand me, we fight. So if you, if, mon, if men want morning, if they do want morning, yes. women can't. Where are we meeting at the same They time? can if they are prepared, if yeah. they are well treasured. If Because a woman, estrogen, I comes, just need magnesium. Yes, <laughs> you need, yes a man, but get this in your bedroom, apply some happy vagina, but also... And this one, the bedding to make spray. You, the yes, bedding you, spray you, you, to you, make yourself sleep yes, well. let her sleep well. <sighs> How does a woman get estrogen? By being pampered. Anytime you feel your estrogen is low, and you're feeling so masculine, tell a man to hug you. Hey. Kabisa. No way. Just hug. Oxytocins and serotonin start coming out. Ah, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Ah. So anytime you feel like you can do it without him, that is why damsel in distress. Whether, there's a, there's a video I was watching yesterday. Yeah. And a man said, how come when my woman is mad, she's all macho all of a sudden. Like she can lift even the whole couch. But when she's wishy wishy, she can't even lift herself. Baby, she, can't baby please, please, please. Yeah, that's estrogen. So our problem is we are fighting with nature. Wow. Estrogen was meant to be vulnerable, soft, sweet. That is estrogen. Testosterone is supposed to be this. So we are mistaking because I can make my own money. I have money, and you think that you can be a man, no? We, we need to stop fighting between men and women. Estrogen will always be estrogen and testosterone will always be testosterone. Period. When a man is provided for by a woman, in terms of, it's a, it's a woman who is everything. She's making decisions. When a man is suppressed in terms of decisions and all these things, he becomes a mama. Akona umama. Yes, his estrogen goes up. Yes. He becomes a woman because we cannot have two men. Uh, even in nature, we can't have two lions in the same compound. Jungle. No, we can't. So you cannot have two men together. When the woman decides to be the man, the man has to come to the, naturally, without knowing. He becomes who is he. Men, women who have, very, who have high test, how do you know when you have high testosterone, even the sex style that you have? If you're always wanting to ride, the riding has no problem. If you want to be the on top, to be the one commanding, you are the man. You are ah! the man. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. <laughs> the ride does go away. Catch yourself. Ah, Why you. are you being the one? Like all the sex tells you, you. It's the same way. Even men, when you find that you always want to domineer a woman, it's psychologically telling you. Like all the sex tells you want is, <clears throat> I want to prove to to prove to be the man. You are not proving sex. That is not where to prove that you are a man. You prove by that you are a man by what three P's: protect, provide, and procreate. What a bend over, Zal. <laughs> Yes, you catch yourself because you see, 
us women yes. we have four mm-hmm. four women in yeah, one in yes. one in one body yeah. in one month during ovulation you are so feminine check the sex style that you want during ovulation it's the feminine girl toto yeah that one during ovulation yes. just before your periods you are the mm, mm, mm. so you want those rough ones <laughs> <laughs> Am I making sense? You are. Yes. You are. So we you all, become aggressive. Yes. We all have estrogen and testosterone. We just need to know how to balance them. When you catch yourself, when you have tight testosterone as a woman and you catch yourself, you always want to make decisions. And you see now, by default, we are in jobs that we are making decisions. Most of us are single mothers. 70% population of Kenyan population is single mothers. Oh, yeah. So a woman is making so many decisions. Whenever you make so many decisions, you become a man. So you need a soft landing. Damn, God. Yes. For real? You need a soft landing. So I just need There's a... no problem. Me, I've stopped a car on, on the highway, Nakuru Nairobi Highway, and told a cop to hug me. Why not? You hugging strangers now? Yes. If the if the testosterone is too high, but now what do you do? Hug at me. What do you do? Damn. Because ah. that is why we are having so many problems of women with hormonal imbalance. Mm-hmm. Why? You are physically a woman trapped in a man's body. A, a, a man inside your hormones. Oh you are releasing hormones for a man, but you have a woman's body. Yes. So we need to be careful. We need to take care of, you need to catch yourself. And so I've learned to catch myself. Whenever my testosterone is high, I will wear a dress. I'll wear a a skirt. I'll wear some heels. I'll do feminine stuff. Then there are days that I'll be too feminine. Now, again, if you become too estrogenic, you're always crying left, right, and center like a fool. You don't do that. You have to balance them, strike a balance. Mm. But estrogen is vulnerable it's sweet and estrogen is brought up by attention affection appreciation period attention affection and appreciation. appreciation just that treat your girl like a girl to talk. estrogen will just like rise naturally naturally and then you can talk and then you can top it up with happy vagina <laughs> and some uh, <laughs> some, some dark chocolates you're good to go hey. Drink some water. Nine rounds. So when now you are a menopausal <laughs> woman <laughs> and communicate, you know, like, hmm? <laughs> Why? Sex is sweet, oh. Ajo, a Uganda came and sh- wali to shiny a hapa Ay, juzi. Hapa. Eh, eh? watch our shiny. Uganda wali I'm to happy. shiny a hapa juzi. Na waona. Na waona no, you see, you are who we've been yes. needing in our life. And you see, for them, they are not embarrassed of talking about these things from when they are young. Yes. Sisi tunajifanya hapa. So, me, let me ask you, because mm. I feel like we're going to have a lot of conversations. <laughs> They're already noting there. Yes. Just give me three or four more topics uh-huh. so that my audience can be satisfied. Now okay. I know they, they are already waiting <laughs> for the next one. You please say on camera you'll commit. Just say that. <laughs> Just say, Lynn, I'll come back. I will come back, so, Lynn. Thank happily you. so. Happily so. But yes. now, mm-hmm. before we go, mm-hmm. this is the cure to my dry vagina. So now I'm when not you... saying I have a driver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. I if know. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying if I... oh, yeah. what is the cure to a so dry vagina? A, a dry vagina. First of all, let's identify why you have. Because not just menopausal women. Some family planning methods also in the reproductive age make a woman get dry vagina. If your dry vagina is caused by psychological issues, this will all this will not sort it out. Mm-hmm. You have to sort out the psychological issues. Mm-hmm. If your dry vagina is purely menopausal, you have no problem with your partner, you have you are ready, you love your body because even not loving your body can cause dry vagina. And environment can also cause Dry vagina. vagina. There are women who they can't have sex when there is light, which I still don't understand. Uh, no, you understand. You know there is light. I love the essential light. There is this light we yes. are using in studio. But there studio. are some who want darkness, total darkness. No, but then they start a nice light. Yeah, but you like... need the eye contact. Yeah, you I'm want. still gonna see you, mm. but I don't want to like. Mm. <laughs> 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 you know that sensual light <laughs> they went with nice jazz music you know what i'm saying yes, yes. obesity also causes dry, uh, dry vagina. vagina 
some medication. There are some people who are taking some type of medication mm. that can cause dry vagina. So first of all, understand why you are having a dry vagina. Yes. Then there, is, there are also people with, uh, we have Bartholin glads inside there. We have guys mm -hmm. here that make the ones that make some women sweet and not others. Yes. There are some who have gotten so many infections they seal those seal those holes so they will always have dry vagina be careful of the yeast in frequent yeast bacteria stis yeah. stds they block they make your vagina just go dry mm. but purely if you don't have a health problem you're not on medication and you're okay you start by filling your body with magnesium just a bite of the original dark chocolate or avocado or avocado however avocado will take longer time this one has been reported this is our plan. with good experience hey, would you only, yeah, for us we are only trusting 200, this one 250 grams so you can take for a whole month you just need a bite how much is this though 500 shillings and it can sort me for a whole for month a whole month <laughs> i never call a bedroom now you can imagine mm. this show <laughs> We will just know by your skin. When you are sexually satisfied, your yes. skin will always tell okay. us. So then you take magnesium. Yeah. You can also take cocoa nibs and be taking the tea. Yes. And then you also need to relax. And then this one will help you with keeping away the infections. But mm. if for real, for real, the nerves are almost dead, this one will help re revive them. Yes. Women with who have undergone FGM always ask, can it be resuscitated? Mm -hmm. Imagine, yes. Lean, the clitoris that you see, is just a quarter of what you see. Clitoris comes all the way to this part. It is like this. Damn. So they cut only a very small part. part of if it. you get a patient partner, they will be able to ignite mm. this the internal parts mm -hmm. of the clitoris. Mm -hmm. So this will not be able to give the dry vagina by itself. However, I have a sex lubricant that you can use during sex with a partner. Discuss. People, please... Eat a beer, please. Oh my God. It's the most disgusting thing. I've... Imagine. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Matayako imeja bacteria and fungal. So you're exposing your woman's vagina to all those problems. So she'll always, she'll always have these problems. We have sex lubricants. Wait. Some people can get UTI because you are spitting Not on... some people. You will get because these are bacteria. Human papilloma virus, HPV, can be transmitted from mouth to here. Don't spit on it. Don't spit. Your saliva is too dirty in terms of quotes of fungal and bacterial things. <laughs> then don't use solid oil. Arimis. I didn't know that. <laughs> This I don't know what chilling. <laughs> it was just chilling a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Solid gives you a, a relief for a short time. Then with time, there will be friction. Use something jelly or liquid. Mm. Use something. Then don't use water. If you use water like this, after a while, it will just disappear. And so? And then friction, you will. Eh, soap yawa. What one is funny? Paka soap. Then as a woman, take care of your inside. Drink okra water. Drink simos. Simos. I have some simos. I'll show you. Simos is town. Everyone is talking in the town. Leo, he moves you. Leo, you can tell me you will not be okra. Okra si kukuletea. It's a simos in the onakunyo. Yes, simos in the onakunyo. Yes. Okay, you're a fan of water. Cut a of carbon. The health. Yes. You're a fan of idea, Ajay. So simos gel is an algae. Or okra. Or okra iko. Both. Slimy. You see the sliminess with yes. the cactus. I also feed on cactus. Watu na niambia wewe kata wacha ujinga. Cactus is very good even with joint pains. Cactus the thorn. Yes. You are feeding muiba. It's a vegetable. Muiba. It's a vegetable. Inside there, there is food. The leaves. Mm -hmm. You cut it inside there, there is a vegetable. Where? That cactus, see, cactus looks eh, like this. It's eh. like this. Yeah. Inside there, like aloe vera, oh, you, you cut peel the tree. outside. Mm. You, I'll come with it, don't okay. worry. Okay. So, these things that are slimy mm -hmm. okra is slimy, simos is slimy, spirulina is slimy, a, a, a cactus, they will help you balance the mucus production in your body. And this, 
is not separated. Yes. Most people when they take okra, the first thing they get is they feel makamasi nataka kutoka. It's because there's the all the overproduction is balance. Yes. So simos helps balance. That is how simos restores your skin complexion. Wow. And so so it makes you feel, you know, mm? good. Mm? And good. when the man goes there, a good report has been given. In a Don't club. ask from where. In a slap. Ana <laughs> 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 ala kwani leo kukwaje. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have okra by Karo, your health coach? No, okra you can. Le, okra is lady no, finger. Mimi naona cut of trust two vitu zako. Niko nazo kwa shamba azija grow. You can even come. I think yes. you, you, you can even come to my farm and yeah. understand this thing. Um, you come I can and see film this. the next yes, one you in your farm, you know. The farm. That's awesome. Yes. And low libido. Now low libido mm. is that is caused first of all by that dry vagina. There are women who are scared of even feeling it because you are you remember how dry you are. Then all the all the character all the things that we've talked about the yes. medication also cause low libido. Mm. So it, the treatment is almost always the same. Yeah. Then I have this special tea, kombucha. This tea. Oh, this one here. This one is called Herogenous tea. Can I, I got to commend you on your packaging too? Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you. Yes. See what this girl is doing. Maybe look at the image of the girl. You like her? She's honey. And she's like, huh? <laughs> she's sorted. Yeah. Yes. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Hi, a combination of, of several plants that I have learned about. Yes. And one of the most conspicuous one, I, I, I have learned two in Kikuyu. Yeah. One is called Mwedigweko, a tree that loves sex. It's a wild plant. The other one is called Ruare. <laughs> Then I have mixed with good amount of magnesium and everything, so it will make a woman feel revive the libido internally. So you put this in your tea? Yes, put you, in the tea. Just this? Yes. No sugar? Yeah, yeah. For me, from when we start conversations, I'll never mention the word sugar. But what is here? It is fermented sugar. Oh. Why do we use sugars? Because we are feeding this bacteria with sugar. It eats. What it gives us is the healthy one. Fermented like miwa. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And milk thirsty. Milk this all is. Hey, where? Well, okay, sorry. <laughs> so thirsty. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, thirsty. Uh, milk, milk this all. Milk this all is one of the most powerful herbs on earth. Mm -hmm. If you can keep doing our research, it's wild. It is very funny. And previously, I learned in my community that they used to give donkeys when they, do, they are not fertile and women who are not fertile. Oh. Why? Because it is able to reverse and manage your hormones. Wow. Anyone with hormonal imbalance, you take milk this. So, mm. how, how much is this? You want to <laughs> That's <laughs> 800 shillings. Well, and it lasts me like how long? You take a teaspoon a day. Yes. It, this one also is an anti-hangover. Uh -huh. Oh, party people. Mm -hmm. You are sorted. Because it helps the liver be able to detoxify mm -hmm. all these wow. things. That is how it works. Beautiful. It's a wild plant given by God for free. Yeah. But to find it. It's hard. It doesn't grow where there is chemicals. Mm -hmm. It doesn't grow where there is ever. It only grows in virgin lands. Mm. And it's very funny. Mm. To harvest it, it's. Oh, crazy. It's crazy. Mm. But milk thistle is one of the things, one of the herbs that I use to help women manage their <coughs> hormones, especially in the reproductive age and the other one. Good. I saw you came eee. with something here. Super anti-aging yes. collagen cream. Collagen is the protein. This is not an ad, guys, but man, yes. I've known Carol for a minute. So <laughs> trust you. Yes. I'm actually, I, I feel like I should document my entire whole life change with her. Yes, and see what will be. Be an ambassador, healthy life ni, ambassador. Niona itakuwa aje after yes. one year. Yes. I see so, this is beautiful. Iyo ni mafuta tumetengeneza tumeka collagen. Smiles, smiles. Yes. So collagen is the protein that holds you together. Collagen is the protein that naturally your body produces. Mm -hmm. But after 25 or so years, mm -hmm. your body stops producing. After I'm 25? After around 20. So that is how mm -hmm. after 30, 40, your skin starts. So me. Your breasts will go down, your mm. nails are not strong, your hair is not so strong. Mm. So imagine when you're 50 and you have you have used all this collagen. So you keep 
So we have to intake collagen mm. and we also have to apply to keep our skins. So the biggest issue that women will experience after or during menopause is that they start sagging. So if you want to keep a healthy, young, look, youthful look, that is why it is anti-aging. It has collagen to apply. CMOS, the one we have just talked about, when taken with the right amount of uh, vitamin C, it has collagen. That is why it gives you a glowing wow. skin. So CMOS, you do not just drink for the libido. You can also apply in your face. In your face. The same thing, the beauty about nature, it provides you with so many things. When yeah. you take collagen, it will work on your joints, on your hair, on your nails, on your teeth, and on your skin. Mm. When you take CMOS, you, you can apply when you have eczema, eczema, psoriasis, any skin condition. Wow. You can apply on your hair as a mask. You can, so you can, nature gives one thing to sort out so many things. Good. That is a beautiful thing about the natural remedies. I love that. Huh? You know, I'm about to let you go. This is our yes. first episode together. Yes. I'm looking forward to five or six more. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned something briefly. How do, uh, if you could go back to it, because mm -hmm. I suffer from very crazy period pains, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, man, I'll mm -hmm. be like, oh my God, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And let it not be when I'm doing a show. I'll just be like, God, mm -hmm. it's bad, you know? Mm -hmm. How do I deal with that? That's Are you ready me. for the slaps? Because yes. I might slap you slap. on camera. Yes. <laughs> Don't say that I have trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I have trauma. At the what? But no, truth that, is speaking. That happens. I'm a mother to a teenage daughter. Mm. She's 17. Yeah. When your body was starting to figure out if you're a woman or a man, you experience some of these problems. And then somehow we assume that is, that is normal for a woman. Yeah. But it's not normal. Because I've been told when I give birth, uh, it's it will stop. Mm -hmm. Several people have given mm -hmm. birth and they still have yeah, the I think me and Scholar were in the same hotel. Because when I'm taking <laughs> brew fence, she's also there taking Actually, brew Actually, when I walked in, eh. that is where the slap was coming in. Yes. When I walked in, the first thing I found on the seat. Ni brew fence. Brew fence. Ni yangu. Ni kamambia. Eh. Eh, huku kuna dawa. Eh. Which is the first mistake we are making. Yes. You don't need the painkiller because you are experiencing pain because the muscles are very um what is it called tight tight and they are refusing to release the blood to release the the but the uterus was waiting for a baby the baby did not come yeah so now the body you the body is refusing to let go so it is very like this so one, you don't need painkiller, you need magnesium. I need my dark chocolate. You also need to add something that will help reduce the mm. tension of the muscles is yes. something hot. You can drink something hot. Stop drinking things. Don't drink. Uh, you can take hot water. Before, I remember we used to take hot water bottle and place it here yeah. and massage it. Good. Okay. You can take Epsom salt and soak your feet. If you don't have Epsom salt, you can just soak your feet in warm water. But now I'm assuming you are here, you are doing a show mm. and you have this pain. Mm. So the only solution, I remember when we had a conversation with Scholar when we started this and she told me something about her skin and I asked her, is it something frequent? So if it's frequent every month, it means your body has hormonal imbalance. So the solution is, those are the temporary solutions I've given you. You must sort that out. You start with taking milk thistle with sim help the body accept that these are the hormones. Yes. Because the painkiller is doing more harm than good. The biggest issue I have today, and I know not many people like me because of saying that, is because we are misusing medication. Medication was created like when you are driving and your car stops and it has a problem. You take a castone and you put it to stop it from moving after you sort out the problem the car goes you don't think about the stone but as we are living with the stone medication was meant to come and help us relieve that but let us look for the solution that are within that us. are within us and go to the root cause uproot and heal forever that, this oh. is Garden of Eden. We were supposed to live in the Garden of Eden. Let us uproot. So allow me to heal you. Yes. Not me, but God to heal you through, through me. You. 
and then you will come here with a testimony okay. promise in the on this camera that yeah. whatever i give you will take yes. and you will bring a testimony I, i have also taught my daughter from when she was young she does not take any painkillers when you feel pain she knows take some hibiscus take some chamomile to soothe my, my, my like if i sat if you sat down with my daughter she'll tell you what will happen when you take dark chocolate you will have more blood but then you will say ah it doesn't work the pain will go but the blood will come why is it coming out because the muscles have released and the blood is coming out mm-hmm. so what do you need to refill the iron beautiful it's a whole cycle You are so beautiful at this. <laughs> I feel like you are Africa's treasure to mm. us. Thank you. Like you are just Africa's treasure to us. But does big pharma fight you? Because um. clearly you are telling us here <clears throat> there are natural ways mm. for us to heal. Mm. Sorry guys. Mm. You are, you are telling us here there are natural ways for us to heal ourselves. Mm. There are natural things we can consume. Mm. But I'm guessing given that big pharma is a very big industry, <laughs> clearly do you yeah. get the Well they if if they ever come they'll find me ready ready and I with the whole army there's someone you. who asked me that and I told mm. them if my work was I I was called to come and give you this information for a period of a certain years and then as you said as we said when we were starting I'm not as scared of anything death or anything but because I know it's God who calls me to do this I do it boldly and he's the one who gives me this evidence me I'm the kind of a person who will sleep and ask God mm. you've brought someone with this and this what do I do I've told you I go to Mount Kenya and trees talk to me yes. and they tell me me I do this I do this so yes. I have not experienced any fights if someone wants to come and of course I'm not a favorite for many doctors but only the doctors who are not open minded but i have a good number of wonderful doctors who mm. who now complete because i'm not here to take away the medication mm. i'm here to complement what what what, they... what we are doing and medication was meant to heal a certain mm. disease mm. symptom whatever so i'm not telling me i don't tell you to stop medication it's your body that tells you to stop the medication to stop medication yeah. it's beautiful but i'm loving this for you Thank you. This is good. Yes, I like, do it passionately. I feel I have so many solutions. <laughs> like I've just enjoyed this. I yes. was actually waiting for a heart burn yes. in the first Nabado. five four something yes. minutes. Yes. Yeah, but a heart yes. burn. That's my cue. Yes. To do I take a lot of gaviscon like mm. when my partner knows he has one in the car and another one at home like gaviscon I just be like gaviscon. gaviscon. The problem I have with taking anti acid uh, for heart burn is that it will lie to your body that you, that okay. you should that um, don't produce certain acid because you know it will keep helping clear the acid 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 at some point the body will think ah then why do we produce yeah then why do we produce and then you'll have a bigger gut issue a bigger one oh. but heartburn was just a symptom it was not a disease the day we separate diseases and symptoms we will have a better because heartburn is not a problem it's just an indication that there's another a bigger problem that is actually our body they know how to shenaneka they tell us in advance before you get ill your body always tells you can i tell you something yes. i know i'm going to get a heart burn before i get it <laughs> that's a yes. fact your body i always yes. know i'll get, get one it before, before you get, I get it one. yes that's your a fact. body will always tell you before <clears throat> it even falls ill your body will tell you when you're happy your body will tell you when you need sex your body will tell you and by the way let's not assume that sex doesn't play a big role so many angry men and women we are meeting on the streets hooting they're just sexually frustrated so <laughs> even in church there's so many someone tell it told me that churches fight no in church we don't have fights we yes. just have two we just two have two or three five sexually frustrated people yeah. and they want to frustrate everyone yes. else so they think that the church <clears throat> is the problem no so the body will always tell you before your body should never ever be dehydrated before if it gets dehydrated it throws it throws tantrums people with joint pains back aches headaches i don't know i'm not sleeping well it's just dehydration drink water drink water so your body will always say, and how do we know when we are full See, it's the body that says how do we know when we are hungry it is. it's the same thing as diseases before a disease strikes it's only that we ignore Good. some day maybe we'll talk about arthritis and i'll tell you arthritis before we call it arthritis 
it started so many years back. That we are going to talk about. Yes. You see, that's like one of our other topics. <laughs> yes. you know? But let me ask you, in yes. menopause, mm -hmm. do you still enjoy sex? Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, you do. It's beautiful. Why? Because you have allowed yourself to go through it. You are aware of yourself. So you help your partner be aware of you. They are, I'm the one who will tell him, I, this time, hey, if we try, hey, ita ita, yeah, ita ingiana. So menopause, I said, is a moment when God tells you stop and focus on yourself. So if you are self-aware, you will know the right spots to hit. You will enjoy the sex and then you'll be very bold. You see now you're a big girl. Yes. You're already like, ah, me, I know I want it this way. Me, I know I want it this way. And you are able to express it without fear. Yes. So yes, you will enjoy sex. It's However, women are still sitaki. Hey, yes. Lakini mwenye amekubali orgasms like this. One after the other. One after the other. Tumalize show. Tumalize. Is it true what one has in front of our Is it true? People who want me, I know I'm living here with my collagen. And Scholar wants milk. Scholar wants a happy vagina. Muga, I don't know Muga wants for the Muga, I have strong man wonder pack. I'll come and tell him about men. Oh, yes? We are doing one about men. Strong man wonder pack. I know I have my cocoa. Yeah. I know I have them. my tea. <laughs> and for, you have finished oh, the kombucha. And I have two books here. Yes, those are my uh, books. Natural remedies. Yes. And also Glass of Glass Life. Of life. Are these yes. for sale? Are they available? Yes, they are available for sale. Where? Uh, so you can go to our website yes. www.rnb.co.ke www.rnb.co.ke or you mm -hmm. can give us a call yeah. 0711 let me say it with plus 254 plus 254 711 uh, that number you can call I have shops in different places I am my headquarter is in Thika I have a shop in Ruiru, in Kiambu, in Nanyuki, in Mombasa, in uh, uh, Mwiki, in Kikuyu, in the United Kingdom, in London, in South Africa, in Ghana, in Uganda. And you can find all these contacts on our on my social media handles, Carol Your Health Coach. Carol Your Health Coach on Facebook, Carol Your Health Coach on uh, Instagram, Carol Your Health Coach, Wamulio underscore Wamulio yes. on TikTok, yes, yeah, yeah. and my YouTube is Carol Your Health Coach. So, um, yes. Congratulations. And you can write an email info at rnb.co.ke. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This is beautiful. Yes. The awakening is so now beautiful. I, you know, now I don't just talk about sex. No, I talk. You don't. I, like you, you, I, you, I just enjoy sex. You, ah! <laughs> we are many. Ah yes. We are so, many. Thank I appreciate you. you for coming. Thank Honestly, you. Thank I can't you, I can't wait for the mini conversations. Yes. That our Uganda wali to shine as a nakara. What if you are you to na fundisho a saying? I'm like, are you people also? Strong? Even yesterday, my auntie was telling me, you know, you are a saying. You know, you are a saying. Ma, you want to shine as a nakara, you know? And then my women were there, defense mode, like, oh, yeah. no, lean. We, we, they can also take our husbands and go with them. Now I'm a shine. Back on TikTok. Now I'm a shine. Now I'm a shine. Shine me. Wow. It's our time to shine, my people. It's our time to shine. We you have know? our own. Yes, yes, get your happy vagina. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good name. Yes. This is a good name for And I'm a, very, I'm a creative by nature. No. I will look at the image. It's the, very beautiful. The vagina uh, is yeah, doing. I see what you've done. <laughs> it's happy. I see what you did also with Thank this. You. I love the packaging. This Thank is you. not an ad. But yes. when I see a good thing. Thank you. I was just telling you, I'm thinking of writing a book. Yes. And I loved the outlay inside. It's very glass. It's oh, very thank beautiful. you. I've always wanted to give the best if I, I ever love write fine a things. Book. I love Get fine things. Get your books at in Nuria life. also. Yes. Oh. Have Nuria stock these books. Um, I'll call him. Oh, yeah. yeah Not thank an you. ad, but Nuria got a stock also. Oh, okay. A couple of okay. healthy okay. books. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you, you so and much. Thank you for coming. Oh, wow. I can't wait to walk this journey with you. I'm um, in a um, space where I want to turn my life around. And the other day I was so torn between should I start speaking to a nutritionist? Should I start speaking to a gym instructor? Whatever. But yeah, I we feel are. Like I just wanna have the body, the mind, and the you. soul. Yeah, so that I can be able to see okay. how I'm gonna do that. Yes, sure. sure. I appreciate you. Caribou. Guys, get in touch. Um, <laughs> Muga, what do you want? An episode on what?
muga wants to be so about sex oh men. yes <laughs> mume acho inje sana <laughs> Muga muga wants some episode also guys yes, about yes, yes. happy pennies. <laughs> Strong man wonder pack. Yeah, for them for them it's like <laughs> for them it's <laughs> like this. <laughs> I honestly enjoyed this conversation. I have also really enjoyed. And also the fact that you combined it with your personal story so yes. that people know mm. you know you are not just oh I'm mm. strong you've mm. gone through a lot you've tackled that and I feel like we should just have a couple of other topics yes. so that our audience can get the full um, package yeah. Yes. yeah so I hope this is what me I hope unani achia kuzee karo sawa I will I mean we as colleen muga we are ready for this thing so, yes yeah I hope you really enjoyed uh, the episode guys get hold of Carol mm-hmm. your health coach her contact details are on the screen her social handles are on the screen also pinned on the comment section i don't know if it's my that is that make me this crazy but i'm loving these conversations yes. like i'm loving knowing we have solutions mm-hmm. and we don't always have is home catching up with me too i don't know mm-hmm. you know i'm loving this conversation and i know we don't always have to hide be happy mm-hmm. enjoy your sex life mm-hmm. it's a gift enjoy it sawa sawa don't go out ha- you know when when we had our Ugandan sister here she talked about an angry vagina and mm-hmm. now we know we have found now the we, cure yes. to a happy See? vagina by Thank our you. own sister which is actually really <laughs> really beautiful happy. so okay. how much is happy vagina uh, this is 1000 shillings uh, how long will it last me i apply uh, how many times a two, month Two months. Two months. Because you did like Good yes, investment. Two, a thousand banana. And it's, if you ration it, can also there's get even a smaller package months. for six hundred. Oh yeah? yeah. You see, get mm. yourself. This is not an ad, guys. But yes. get and tell me if it works for you. That yes. would really be Give us feedback. beautiful. Give me that beauty. You know, I love feedback. Info mm. at LNN or digital. Give me that feedback. But all in all. I have loved this episode and I feel like all my crazy questions I've always had about <laughs> sex will be answered by Carol mm. your health coach and Tima Utamu so <laughs> like connect with her yeah. the details are on the screen and also guys not forgetting to thank our partners at Tap Tap for always coming through it's been a beautiful year walking this journey with them so send money to your loved ones here at home using Tap Tap it's very fast best rates najua dola imeanguka but they got you guys covered they always try to give you the best rates huh? and i even love your feedback on uh, my email saying that you are using tap tap which is really good for me they get to see i'm doing the work you know which is really good for me so use tap tap get 10% cash back on the info the details are on your screen ukiwa uko maju tu maana pia kwa unataka kunitumia my mpesa is also here guys you can also decide to spoil me using tap tap my mpesa number is right there also to thank the team leo mugana scholar they are just happy scholar shika happy vagina usiseme huku pe Muga si yoni kitu inaweza kusaidia hapa sana but goje episode yako. Me I'll continue Please drinking kombucha. my kombucha. Mm. I can't wait for the days I go without heartburn guys. That will be the best day of my life. I know I have unresolved things I got to take care of, but I have caro. So try these things out guys, the coco, try the tea. Let me know what you feel about it. Uh, website ya ke copy into the comment section do your thing and let me know we will, like your honest opinion na pia wakuja wapumzike healing pia, rain yeah muende mpumzike that is where i want to document myself in doing that rest. like honestly yeah. i want to document i want to come and i want to document for one them. of the solutions of heart but is resting come on caro If I drink too much of this will I is it moratina is also for me Okay him? if it's over ferments yeah. it can give you a high It can give me a high uh, I'm but this one for a high right No now, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Please subscribe if you haven't and let me know on the comment section what other topic would you love Carol, your health coach to come and talk to us about. Let's continue rebuilding one story at a time. Ni homa tu I think in Akuja but whatever. I hope I can see you guys tomorrow again at 10 a.m. Bye bye.